So uh, with every orthopedic talk, we got to get through the mundane anatomy, but it's really important. And as we know, the Achilles is made up of uh, multiple muscles in the posterior compartment, uh, the, the posterior aspect of the leg, mainly the gastrocnemius and the soleus. So the gastroc gives you your appearance. Your gastroc gives you your definition, and it crosses three joints. So that's the first uh, barroom trivia question. It crosses the knee, the ankle, and also the subtalar joint, which is frequently forgotten. As I said, it's, it's mainly uh, providing the contour or the sexiness of your calf, and it's filled with fast twitch fibers, as opposed to its close relative, the soleus, which is somewhat deeper um, from the, the gastroc, and it crosses only two joints. So this does not go north of the knee joint and only crosses the ankle and the subtalar joint. And this is more slow, tw slow twitch, and it does not fatigue as easily as the gastrocnemius. The soleus is mainly involved in posture and, and plays a role in holding up your leg. Together they come down and they form the Achilles tendon. Barroom trivia number two is the Achilles tendon is the thickest and strongest tendon in the human body. Not many people realize that, but the Achilles is the largest and strongest tendon. And so I take great pride in that I, I'm studying this tendon uh, quite frequently, and um, it's exciting to know that. In a 30-year-old, uh, roughly speaking, in the anterior posterior direction, it's about 6.9 uh, millimeters, so it's pretty thick. And then in the uh, medial to lateral width, obviously it varies whether you're at the mild tendinous junction, mid-substance, or even down at the footprint. The course overall, as, uh, as most people know, uh, it starts uh, high up and then comes down and it touches broadly on the Achilles, but it takes a little twist. It internally rotates about 90 degrees and that's where you get a lot of your potential energy as it can store the energy to then recoil, uh, giving you your push off strength. It starts as a flat structure and then becomes ovoid and all of this plays a role uh, in regards to one's function. I put this slide on here to highlight uh, some of the more famous people who have tore their Achilles. Uh, obviously, upper left, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. But uh, he's one who tore his Achilles and unfortunately never came back to the same level that he was. Kobe part two was never like Kobe part one. Interestingly enough, uh, bottom left corner, Vice President Al Gore, he too sustained an Achilles rupture, as well as The Rock. 